How do you act out three color recycles with just your body? With just your body. And some of the mission of the mission of the mission just feel like just feel like just time, wasting time. The whole point about train games is that you want to put the train on the train, on the train tracks, tracks, tracks. Where the underground train, in the underground early train day, train underground early train day, underground early train. Well, I was going to go back to Hong Kong, but then I remembered that actually I have another game about the London Underground that I want to show you. So let's have a look. This is the London Board Game, the classic race game through London's underground. And look, there's the London Underground map. You start at one of the major stations in central London. Liverpool Street, King's Cross, Paddington, Victoria and Waterloo. You need to travel to six stations around London by rolling dice, moving your train, changing lines and avoiding stations that are closed. Alright, let's get started. Ah, the pieces are nice. And there's even a purple one. I'm sure they fit into the spaces. Don't they? Don't they? At the start of the game, you are given six cards which tell you where to go. You can visit the places in any order, which means you can choose the best route. Each station has an interesting landmark, such as the magnificent St Paul's Cathedral, the beautiful St James's Park, the bustling Piccadilly Circus, Baker Street, which is famous for Sherlock Holmes, Wimbledon, which is famous for tennis, and Bethnal Green, which is famous for... Wait a minute, Bethnal Green? Hmm, I think I might put this one back in the box. Oh, I forgot to mention these ones. These are the hazard cards. If you need to change lines, for example, from the pink line to the brown line at Baker Street, you draw a hazard card. This might allow you to close a station right in front of someone else, so they have to roll a six to get through it. Or it might send you to another station on the map. Here, I'm trying to get to Regent's Park. but I've just been sent back to Barbican. OK, not a big problem. It's only six stops away. After a lucky roll, I'm at Baker Street again, just one stop away. But that means... I have to draw another hazard card. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't you know, I'm being sent back to Barbican. I really did shuffle the cards. It must be a coincidence. Anyway, after a couple of turns, I'm back again at Baker Street, ready to make that last move one stop to Regent's Park. Just need to draw a hazard card. Barbican again? I don't believe it! 
How many times a day can a person go and watch the opening night of a play? I mean, there can only be one opening night, and I've been there three times. I'm taking another card. Oh, great. Now I'm being sent down to Victoria. That's even worse than Barbican. I'll have to change twice to get to Regent's Park now, which means two more hazard cards. Croc was more lucky, with five out of six stations on the same line, so no need to change or take any hazard cards at all. Anyway, we decided to start again, and this time to shuffle the cards really carefully, and to take one from each line. That's a bit fairer. The trouble is now that Croc has closed a station I need. I have to roll a six to open it again. <sighs> Here goes. No. Next turn. Come on, six, six. No. Six. Oh, for goodness sake. This dice roller is terrible. Why do they even provide one? The dice just moves from side to side without changing at all. I'm just going to use my hand. Come on, six. 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 Oh, would you just be a six? You know, the problem with this game is that it's too big. If you're unlucky and get White City, North Greenwich, Wembley Park and Wimbledon, then you'll need to travel about 400 stations and about 500 changes of line. Don't get me wrong, I like that it has the real London Underground map, but did it really need to have places like Deptford Bridge, Harrow on the Hill and Walthamstow Queen's Road? I mean, I lived in London for years and I've never been to any of those places. I can't believe this. The pieces are too big again, the cards make me crazy, the dice rolls slow everything down too much, the line changing system is terrible and everything is too far apart. Why couldn't they have done something interesting with this? I mean, for example, take a smaller part of the underground, say everything inside the circle line, and put it on a bigger board so the pieces fit. Get rid of the hazard cards and the closed station tokens, which are rubbish, and do something interesting with the cards. I don't know, something like, you've got to do a list of tasks in one day, like getting lunch, visiting the library, watching a play, and then you can choose different stations. You know what? I think actually the MTR game might be the best one. <coughs> it's got the map, the pieces aren't too big, the cards are a lot fairer. Okay, the actions are a little difficult to do, but I realised if you're allowed to talk, and they're a lot easier. Well, I'm going to head up this escalator now. <laughs>